Hi, it's Malcolm from Microspray. Today I have another gun repairing video. Uh, this is the Sutner ST2300. Uh, the customer has sent it to me. He wants me to film it and put the repair kit in. The repair kit comes with all the bits and O-rings and stuff like that. And it comes with the little tools to get the O-rings out and push them back in again. You do need another couple of tools, but we'll go over that in a minute. Let's get it on the bench. Well, I tried to film this a few times at work um, and I couldn't. Phones were ringing too much, the people were coming in. So I've brought it home. It's night time. I'm in the infamous log store. Uh, it's cold. So let's hurry up, get it on the bench and repair it. So yeah, this is the uh, ST2300. Uh, one of the good things about this gun is that you can buy the repair kit. Uh, so it's no use just throwing the gun away. So it comes with the instruction sheet and a load of other stuff. Let's see if I can put it on there without dropping anything. There are some fiddly little bits. You've got the main valve and this little washer thing that's just fell out. And then all these little black plastic bits are tools that you're going to need. This is a tool that you're going to need. And then you have this valve pin with the o-ring on as well as far as the instructions they're pretty self-explanatory really when you get these but it's certainly easier if you see somebody doing it uh first time i did it it got a little bit confusing with why do you need tools to take a couple of o-rings out but it does work out uh you do need a screwdriver obviously to get the case in the part you're going to need a spanner to get the back end of the uh, nut and the valve off and some long nose pliers It doesn't tell you what size spanner you're going to need, but you need a, a posi uh, Posi drive 2 a 19 mil spanner long nose pliers So first things first take the casings off the gun Once you've got all the screws out and you can take this housing off what you want to really do is take all these screws out make sure you don't lose any put them in a little tray or something it's going to be easier to put it back together you don't need the other half so you're left with this all the repair kit here is in this valve here and you have to take this nut off this nut obviously is the 19 mil nut i also apologize it's the amount of people driving up and down the street i don't know whether the mic's gonna catch all that but hey ho 90 mil and then you take this valve out Now, sometimes you can find just a little bit of grit in this valve and that's holding the ball away or the seat away from the, uh, the ball away from the seat. And that can pass water through or even if one of these O-rings are gone, it can pass water through. But this is a whole replacement cartridge, so it could be just something trapped in there. So you might not even need the kit. We're going to replace it anyway. So that's the old one. Inside here is a pin. I'm not sure you can see it with the lighting because it's pitch black outside. But there's the pin. And there's a new one. Put the old ones to one side. Now there's this weird little seat thing. And this holds O-rings in. This uh, little white and black O-ring. Now how you get that out when you start reading the instructions, because this is where I got confused very first time I did it, because I'd never read these instructions, you have to assemble this tool. So with a short end, there's like a short and a long end of this tool, put the short end in there, all the way. And you literally just screw this into the end. all the way and then you get this big bolt all the way in and then use this as a spanner for that bolt just to screw it so 
So once this is nice and tight, you should be able to just unscrew this. This is where I got confused last time because it didn't actually pull it out for me. There we go. And what that's done is that pulled this little seat away from the inside of the gun. Now what's behind there are these two little O-rings. Now to get them two little O-rings out, you then use this tool. Now on the side, you've got one dot on one side and two dots on the other. And you have to get them right the right way first time. So, so I can explain the order of what's happening inside the gun. When you unscrew the main back nut off, you remove the actual main valve. Now the main valve has obviously the ball bearing and the spring, everything in it, with the O-rings. That's what's the main thing that's going to seal water from coming out the end. Once you take that out, you have a pin. You pull the pin out with uh, long nose pliers. And then what you're doing then is you're going to be using the tool that goes through into the back end that then screws onto this. So it's hold it tight. And as you screw it, unscrewing this from the housing, it then pulls it away and out. Then you'll be using the tool and it'll be the side with the, the little noggin in there just to hold onto it. And what you do is you push it, push it into the housing and it will grab them O-rings. You'll feel it grab so that you'll be able to pull them O-rings away. When you're putting them brand new ones on, you're just sitting on the edge and then you're going to push it all in place and then you'll be able to just remove the tool. Put the insert in there unscrew everything, the valve with the divot in there and then screw the valve up tight. And when you press the trigger, pushes the pin, takes it off the seat and it works. Number one first, so poke it in. And what you're doing is you're grabbing the O-ring I can feel it grab but it's not quite there you go so that one's grabbed the, the little white washer and the O-ring at the same time so yeah it has a little lip on the has a little lip on the edge that grabs the O-ring and it pulls it out So when you push it in, it grabs the O-ring so that you can just pull them away. Now to put them back in, you need the O-ring and the little plastic spacing washer. If you've got a little tiny bit of grease, that might help. And then what you do is you push them all the way in and seat them right down the bottom. Take this out slowly and make sure that it is in. Can't really see it because of the light. Once that's in, what we need to do is replace this. So the easiest way to do it is, is unscrew that one, screw this one back in, and then we can screw that in. all the way, nice and tight, unscrew the bolt and that will keep it in its place.
like so. The pin, there's two ways to go on the pin. There is a little divot on one side. That's where the ball would seat. And that's where the pin would be pressed by the trigger. So we drop that in. We get along those players to get it right down that hole and push it all the way through. And then you just get the new, new valve assembly. It's all got the O-rings, everything in it. And then screw it all the way up. Doesn't have to be really, really tight because it's sealed on O-rings, but just need to give it that nip. Make sure the trigger is pressing, which it is. And then literally all we have to do now is screw it back together. So now the, uh, the valve's been replaced in here. This is gonna be like a brand new gun again. This video request and the gun itself was from one of my Instagram subscribers. Uh, so this is all fixed now. It'll be going out tomorrow back to him. I hope this video is informative. Uh, it gives you a little bit of confidence in knowing how to fix and reassemble the gun properly. Um, if it did, give me a, a quick thumbs up. That'd be handy. If you have any requests for videos that you want me to do, uh, leave them in the comments or contact me through Instagram. So I know my YouTube channel says Kramsel Pressure Washers, which is what I am most interested in. Uh, but there's more and more things coming up where, like this is a Sutton gun, uh, there's MTM foam bottles, there's other sort of accessories and different things. Um, I'm thinking of changing the name. I might just call it Malcolm from Aquaspray and then just everybody will know that name. Um, I say it on the front of air or the beginning of every video, so you never know. So tell me what you think in the comments below.